Hi. Recently I did a demonstration where I was trying to compare the effectiveness of hyper ammunition versus regular ammunition by shooting our meat target, then examining the wound channel and the penetration. Well, a couple of viewers asked to see that same demonstration except with 22 long rifle caliber handguns. So here we are. Now what I've got is a pork chop that'll simulate a pectoral muscle, then pork ribs, then this watermelon to simulate lung tissue, more pork ribs, and as always the high-tech fleece bullet stop. When I did this before to simulate lung tissue I used a bag of tangerines. Well now it's later in the season and I can get watermelon, which I think as a simulation for lung tissue the watermelon will be just as good if not better. So we'll cover it with two layers of t-shirt, then two layers of flannel shirt, and we'll shoot it from seven yards. Now the gun I'm going to start with is this Smith & Wesson model M&P 22 and I've got it loaded with CCI stingers which are a 32 grain hollow point. So we'll take a few shots and see what kind of effect we get. Well I got the watermelon torn apart so let's see how we did. First only one of the bullets actually hit a rib on the way in and it broke that rib in several pieces. Went through, chewed up our watermelon fairly good. Now none of them penetrated the ribs on the back. They were all stopped by the ribs and I only recovered one bullet. I don't know where the others went. The one bullet that I did recover is mushroomed out flat and I'll show you a close up of that in just a second. So it looks really effective and although they didn't penetrate the entire way through, they certainly penetrated everything that was vital and mushed up our uh, watermelon lung tissue pretty well. And there you can see the one CCI stinger I did recover and it is mushroomed out flat. Now we'll repeat that using CCI mini mags, which are a 36 grain hollow point. So how'd we do with the mini mags? Well, they went through our pork chop, of course, and through our ribs. None of them hit a rib this time, but they certainly penetrated through it, chewed up the inside of the watermelon really well, and again, they were stopped by the ribs on the back. Now this time I recovered two bullets. Let me show you a close up of these. And there's our CCI mini mags, and they're mushroomed really well, but not quite as much as the Stinger was. So the Stingers and the mini mags seem to perform pretty well. But if you're talking about concealed carry, you're probably considering a significantly smaller gun than that M&P. So let's try this again with the Beretta Model 21A. Now, as we've seen in previous demonstrations, with this short barrel, we're not really reaching expansion threshold for 22 hollow points. So I've got this loaded with CCI mini mag 40 grain round nose bullets. So let's shoot these from seven yards and see what kind of results we get. So how did we do with our Beretta Model 21A? Well, bullet went through the pork chop, went through our ribs on the front, hit one of the ribs and broke it, went through the watermelon, chewed it up actually more than you'd think a, a round nose bullet would, and the bullets were stopped by the ribs on the back. So even in the short barrel, we got 100% penetration. And this thing of the bullets being stopped by the ribs on the opposite side, that's something you see in hunting occasionally, where you'll shoot a deer and you get a chest shot and the bullet goes all the way through and then it's caught under the hide on the opposite side. And when that happens, it tells you two things. One, that your bullet expended 100% of its energy in the target, and two, that it penetrated everything vital. Now, this is where I have to bring up a controversial topic. There are people who are of the opinion that the 22 long rifle as a handgun cartridge is the deadliest handgun cartridge you can get. And they justify that by the notion that it's going to go through a chest cavity, hit the ribs on the back, ricochet back to the front, hit the ribs on the front, ricochet back to the back, and it's just going to pinball around in there causing all kinds of damage. Okay. Every bullet I fired today was stopped by the ribs on the back. Some of them were hung up in there. Some of them just fell and they were on top of that barrel. Some of them fell into the gravel and I couldn't find them. But their energy was completely expended. They had no energy to bounce back through this watermelon. The idea that a bullet is going to ricochet off a rib is not 100% fiction. I have seen that occur. But that's when I was shooting an 800-pound cow buffalo with a muzzle-loading rifle. And the bullet went clear through, hit a rib on the opposite side, fractured, and one of those fragments went about so far. I mean, it, it's not even worth talking about. So it's not 100% fiction, but pretty close. But that having been said, although the 22 is certainly not the deadliest handgun round out there, I mean, is it as powerful as a 9mm or a 40 Smith & Wesson? Not even close. But 
with the results we have here today, it's a lot more powerful than a lot of people think it is, and it is not to be underestimated. So, don't try this at home, I'm what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the 22 Long Rifle versus the Meat Target video.